Serious. What's something you found on the internet that traumatized you? Not safe for work. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I had a friend from high school who got in a motorcycle accident when we were about 20-ish. I had heard she was decapitated and I never looked into it. Seven years later, I think of it and Google it, bam, photos from the scene. We'll never be unable to see that. There was a video on Reddit for a while recently where there's people's doorbell cam recorded an argument they had with a neighbor, followed by him executing one of them in the street. One morning, while I was getting ready to leave for class, I came across a graphic video that was trending all over Twitter. It was of a man being brutally mutilated by another man with a machete, and it was absolutely horrific. His torso had been cut wide open from the top of his chest to his belly button, and you could see all of his organs pulsating and his heart beating erratically in his chest. He was tied up and squirming, sounding and looking like he was barely lucid anymore. I'm pretty sure his bottom jaw had also been hacked off, and the man who was doing this to him would take a moment to punch him in the face or slap him, I'm assuming to make sure he was still conscious for his slow death, before hacking away at his body again. It was when he started trying to pry open his ribcage that had to close the Twitter app, run to the bathroom, come close to vomiting, and then head to campus and sit in class like I hadn't just watched something so nauseating to start my day. I had seen graphic gory and traumatizing things on the internet before that video, but none of them shook me to my core like that. That act of sheer cruelty is forever burned into my brain. I can't remember what it's called, but there's a subreddit that's kind of a reverse image search for children's clothing to see if people can identify it or where it came from. The photos, however, are stills from child abuse or porn videos with everything but the shirt or the pants, or the shoes edited out. The day I found that, I was wrecked. I thought about those kids and sobbed, and then thought of that someone's job is to watch this stuff, to analyze it, to try and figure out clues to their locations. It's all around just wrecked me. At the same time, I'm glad it exists because the internet community has such a vast amount of knowledge and is a great thing to turn to to find them. There was this collection of videos, some few teens stepped on a small animals one by one. By stepping, I'm not talking about those mild sexual ones. They stomped it because they intended to kill. I saw the rabbit, cat, and the puppy videos. They just threw them around, stomped their lower backs until they died. It was so hard to watch and I hope everyone in that video die horrible, painful, and long death. I later learned they were teenagers from Venezuela. No other info was leaked. I have a friend who is teaching me Chilean slang. This morning they taught me Pico Pau Que Li. I was googling the phrase and a YouTube video got recommended. It was of a maintenance crew at a hotel trying to capture a cat from a railing at least 10 to 15 floors up. The cat fell, and the person videotaped it to its death. Completely fucked up my day. Video on 4chan that was titled Policeman vs. Army Vet or something like that. Whole thing was filmed by the police car dash cam and you couldn't really see the officer during most of it but hear him quite clearly. So this young officer held up this old veteran in his truck, tried to get him to step away from the vehicle, shit like that. The vet, standing next to his driver's door, was having none of it, reached inside and pulled out this big looking rifle, clearly pointed it at the officer and thinking he made his point, turned to get back in his truck. And that was the point the policeman decided to shoot. Don't know if it was warning shots. All you could hear were the bullets hitting the army dude's truck and the now clearly nervous officer shouting at the vet to put the gun down. Well, army dude opened fire as well. I think three or four times and immediately I could hear the other guy screaming in pain. Then the vet comes a few steps closer and looks down on the policeman for a moment lifts his gun and shoots him again. Then he just turned, got back in his truck and drove off, while you could still quietly hear the officer moaning and crying. I think I was 14 or 15 at the time. Back when it first happened, around the start of the first Iraq war, right after 9-11, a buddy showed me a video of Al-Qaeda, I think beheading Michael Berg. I'll never forget the terrible sounds he made as they did the deed to him and they took their damn time about it as well. 
it was enough to make me super gung-ho for the war. I later changed my feelings on the war, but between the loss of life in this country and the damn video, my emotions were pretty inflamed for a while. It's not what I found, but I was at the school's computer lab and saw some classmates of mine were looking at pictures of dead people on the computer next to me. I was 11 and couldn't sleep for the rest of the week. I'm having flashbacks of the pictures just by typing this. Don't type it. A story about a cop who did a wellness check on a woman and found her and her toddler dead. Looked like the toddler had been looking for food before he starved because all the cabinets were open. Starving to death is painful and horrifying. Imagining the toddler being afraid and unable to wake his mom is horrifying. The whole thing is just the worst nightmare. Eons ago, I saw a gory video of a man jumping from a bridge. He was supposed to dive into the lake below, but he fell short and hit his head on concrete. The next scene shows his head partially split open, but he was still alive and breathing. Fucking hell. I saw a documentary, either set in China or Japan, about conditions for animals in the food industry. It had the usual stuff like battery chickens, pigs, and cows being strung up, etc. But one part stuck out to me. There were these wolves or large dogs that were being skinned alive and thrown into a massive container. And at one point in the video, there was a completely furless and skinless dog just standing there looking around like some kind of zombified meat creature that was somehow still functioning. We'll never forget that image out of my head. Well. Like four to five weeks ago, I was on Snapchat looking at some meme accounts and I eventually ended up going through multiple accounts. Anyways, one account linked or mentioned another account so I decided to click on it. Bad idea. On Snapchat, there were a lot of porn accounts and stuff so I thought it was just one of those but oh boy was I wrong. Their story contained a Dropbox links of dog and horse sex with humans. On the story, they would show previews of the videos. I mean... Shit, it shows dogs having sex with women and horse doing the same. I don't know, it's fucking weird, and for whatever reason, I can't get it out of my head. I don't know, usually weird shit on the internet doesn't fuck me up, but for whatever reason, this has. Yeah. When we were in Iraq, we came upon a little town that we were told was hiding terrorists. We got out and started clearing buildings. About 10 minutes into it, we heard someone praying at the top of their lungs, followed by a brief scream and gurgling. We made our way towards the commotion, weapons charged and hearts racing. Upon reaching the little town square, found four heads in the street and blood everywhere. Turns out, they weren't sheltering them, they were executing them and beheading them. Our translator talked to the village elder, and turns out, when the locals would capture or find the fighters, they brought them to this village for their trial, followed by their execution, brought a whole new meaning to Heads Will Roll. Our Bud Dwyer's Suicide I was at a coffee shop with my laptop just hanging out, and I was watching this top 10 videos you shouldn't look up video. Dwyer's Suicide was near the very top of the list. Curiosity got the best of me, and I looked it up. It was the most horrible thing I've seen. I was so sure my mouth was just gaping while looking at the man slumped with blood draining out of his nose like a faucet. Up until that point, I have never seen the end result of shooting yourself through the mouth. I genuinely felt like crying. I never knew it would look like that. For sure it was just a few minutes, but just watching seconds of it felt like forever. I never really had nightmares from movies before this experience, but after seeing that, I couldn't sleep properly for a few days. It really messed me up. I still shudder just thinking about it. It was so traumatizing. I am so confused why it's even available on YouTube. It was a long time ago, but someone showed me a video on the internet where a guy was beating up a homeless man in the bush with a cloth wrapped around something really hard until the homeless man's face was totally deformed and full of blood. You could see how the poor homeless slowly stopped resisting and was lying in the bush hopeless, probably dead at this point. Had never been that bothered by gore or humanity being fucked up videos, but for some reason one certain video 
got me so deep I was out of it for a couple weeks. Maybe I'm still a bit different than before. It left me with a hand over my mouth and a heart rate of 150 plus, and I still feel the rush of terror when I think about it. It's security cam footage of two neighbors having cuss out in the snow, and the one neighbor storms back into the house, gets a rifle, comes out, and guns the dude and wife down. Then he stands over there, writhing half corpses, and continues to shoot them while screaming stuff like, How does it feel? Our miserable society should honestly be rewired if it's possible for people to turn out like that. Pre-becoming a dad, I would be pretty tough to traumatize having seen some shit in my time, watched a lot of stuff on LiveLeak at one point. Now, I have to be really careful what I watch and read. A story on migrants who died trying to cross the English Channel hit me bad. A little boy was amongst the dead, but his body was not found for several weeks later and ended up in Scandinavia. I have a little boy the same age. The thoughts of that little boy's body all alone in the Atlantic floating for weeks broke my heart. I had nightmares about it. I became obsessed with analyzing in my mind the whys and tormented myself to no end. They all drowned and would have been aware of it happening. It tore me up inside and still does. Similarly, that fuck who shot the three-year-old little girl and her dad point blank in Plymouth. That dad stepped out probably after work to take his little girl for a walk. You'd never expect it. The thoughts of his last moments tormented me yesterday. I grab my boy right after work, and we go out to give my wife a break and get some playtime. In the face of a shotgun at that range, he tried to protect her, but he would have known it was over for them. Was commenting like usual when a strange character started responding to me. He then asked me if he could personal message me. I got a weird vibe, so I checked out his profile first literal posts and pictures of huge fresh piles of shit inside his underwear with captions like been walking around with this all day 